Hello everybody and welcome back to Talking Bola with Darren Chan and it's the final score Malaysia nil, Jordan 4 in the opening match here at the AFC Asian Cup and I'd like to go with the positives first because believe me it won't go, go through a lot to go through with them and I'll tell you this right now and you can see on the stats on the screen uh, to the uh, right hand side and you can see the possession stats 52% to 48% Malaysia have got more possession of the ball which against a much better outfit I think they're rate ranked 88 or 87 in the world um, we can take the positive out of that we also have more corners than uh, Jordan and we've also had you know a lot more passes well that's natural with possession but here is the thing right we our, our strategy we really 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 need to look at that because shooting from 30 yards from the box is just not going to work i can remember paulo Josue coming off the bench and doing one shot i can remember stuart wilkin and if he had scored that my word would it would it have been a contender to go and win the Puskas Award because he curled that shot. But why do are we relying on Hollywood shots that would you know make the world go wow? You try that when you are throwing the kitchen sink at it, and we're doing it at thirty minutes. We're relying on it at thirty minutes in the game, and that was our best chance to score. We I cannot remember. Actually, I can remember four, four at most chances that we've had inside the penalty box. And we've got to find a way. Kim Pangon has to go and look at this team and go, how can I break into this penalty area? Because at the moment, scoring goals, right, you can score... You know, you can score outside the penalty box against Papua New Guinea, Solomon Island, Malawi. You know, what other teams are we playing? Chinese Taipei. And I don't even think you can do that nowadays. It's Singapore, Myanmar. You can do that. You cannot be relying this at this level. And you might say, one might say, oh, it's the passing. We've got to pass the ball better. We bloody need to pass the ball better. Because these players, at times, I can remember Kobin Ong making sloppy passes. The uncles making sloppy passes. Like, it's just like, why? why? Like, you, make, you have to work so hard to fight for that ball. We have to work so hard to fight for that ball. But then we just let it go away. We let it go away. And then you've got players who are... In you know all different positions, you see Arif Ayman. You looked like he was playing centre back. He was playing centre back, and he was like, "No, this is not what this is not what you need. We need to be organised, and the way that we need to be organised is by playing a simple formation. Because we went into this game, and this is why we conceded that goal in the eleventh minute. And I, I, and I stand with that opinion. We conceded we let jordan control the game very early on because we played expansive football against teams well against players who play in the european league el tarami plays for montpellier in france and he scored a hat trick today why did he get to score a hat trick yes he's good he, some of the goals that he scored you know he would you know some of the goals that he scored like you know he you know, it shows the disparity, the level, the disparity between some of the European leagues and some of the, and the Asian leagues. And of course, we've got Coach Kim Pangon, and that's, that's one step closer. But it's not like 10 steps. You can't make them. You can't make them. These changes, they take 10, 20, 30 years to evolutionize. You can't train this sort of thing in two years, which is what Kim Pang Gon had just before having heading into this tournament, you, you know, and also 
we can't, we also show we can't deal with these players. We are dealing for someone who plays for Montpellier. What happens when we have to deal with Huang Zichan, Son Hyung Ming, Huang Inbom today, or, or what, what, the Korean left winger that scored two goals today, Jin Sun, Jin Sun Kim? What happens when we have to deal with them? Because we, I can tell you right now, Junior L Style and Matthew Davies are not the answer. Matthew Davies has got to have a clear look at himself. Because is, you've got to, he's got to ask himself, is he good enough to be the captain of this team? Because he doesn't look like a captain to me, in my opinion. He can be a, I believe he can still be a good player for Malaysia. It's his level. He can still be a good player, but as for the captain, I, you, you've got to start asking questions. Because I can see Dion Kuz, and yes, he's only been here for, you know, a, a, a short amount of time. But also, he's been backing orders, getting players, squaring the players. Where should the players be standing? Have I seen Matthew Davies do it? He couldn't even do it himself. He couldn't do it himself. He couldn't deal with one player. And we were trying to do it. We tried to play three at the back. He had to, one of his jobs was to look after, you know, he was to deal with, you know, the Montpellier, uh, Tarami, uh, Tamari, and the, num and, and the number 10. And thank God the number 10 got injured. Shouldn't say that. But at least Matthew Davies got less of a headache. Because if, if the, those two were still on the pitch, I can guarantee you right now that that, that scoreline, that, that scoreline is not going to be 4-0. I can guarantee you right now. He was way off form today. And, and I think Kim Pang God has got to change his strategy. He's got to change his plan. He's got to realise that, you know, we're not playing Papua New Guinea. We can't just trash teams 10-0. We're playing against good sides and we've only got harder sides. Well, barring... You could say it's an easier side, but well, not much easier compared to, you know, it's not much easier. It's not Kyrgyzstan, you know. And you've got South Korea as well, you know, World Cup side today ran barring through the ground. And we've got to be able to prepare for that. He's got to watch this game and he's got to go with a simple, with a simple way of playing football. Because playing this... Tiki Taka style. I said it on the watch along and I still stand by it. You can't coach Newport County players to be to be to play Tiki Taka, to play the football that Pep Guardiola plays, to play the football that Carlo Ancelotti, Jurgen Klopp plays. You cannot do that. Because if 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 anybody can do that, everybody would be doing it. Honestly, you cannot do that. And you know, the back three, the back three is just, you know, like you, the media have got to ask serious questions at it. And I'm really, I'm really interested to hear what he has to say. Why did he have to play a three, three at the back? Because, you know, I looked at the formation and I went, Arif Ayman on a right midfield. So is he going to run back and forth? Like, he's not that type of player to do it. And I don't think Corbin Omke has enough going forward. I don't, I don't think he supplies enough going forward. He might supply some against, you know, Myanmar and stuff like that. But he can't do it. He can't do it. You've got to be able to go, you know, they've got, they've got to be able to go inverted towards it. And, you know, playing against Jordan, you, 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 it's too much for these players to be able to handle. It, it's too much for them to handle. And they came in here with just overconfidence. You might just look at it and just go, why are we playing high line? And then you're getting towards the back. I can remember, you know, against Tamari. El style against Tamari was like, a, was like a Honda Civic. And it's not even a nice car. Well, it is nice, but, you know, it's not the S tier car. It's only like an A tier car against a Brodwa or Brodwa maybe at best. It, you know, you, you can't race it, you know. He was just running towards it, and that's why that's why some of the goals, they happen. And it comes with too much confidence. They go step back forward. And there was one time that, uh, a few things that I can say about Matthew Davies that he did correct. There was one corner that I remember that he stayed back for, because he knew he couldn't get back to it. 
and he's not known for corners. So like, what 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 was the point? What was the point? And these, you know, whether or not we can beat Bahrain, that's still the question. I think the second half performance was a lot better. The first half, we've got to be. I said it yesterday. You've got to be able to go from minute one to minute ninety. Your match cannot be started from minute forty-five. You, your match cannot be starting at minute forty-five because if even if your match starts at minute ten, you will be punished. You will be punished like that. Honestly, you can't. You can't be napping this early. You know. You've got to be on it from minute one. And these players were not on it on minute one. Um, and they've got to manage the expectation level, which is a another thing that Mac Matthew Davis, you know, it's easy to pick on him because I listened to his press conference and, uh, because he was out, out to the public and he said he's got to manage expectation. Well, he, he tried to manage, well, he clearly didn't and he clearly didn't zone in as well because he said about zoning in as well. But, you know... It's just like, it, it, it's either they're not doing it or they're very shit at it. Um, you know, and, um, you know, you've got um, finding the ball inside the box, but still with Wilkin. He, I think, I, I saw a journalist uh, saying it. I want to see Shamir Fustiaba because I can see him, you know, fitting into this system. I can see him f fitting into this system. Um... I don't think like uh, I don't. I think you change out Junior for Shami Kuti. I think we see how we can do because these two players, right? And this was the thing as well. Why are we playing players without chemistry? We are, our we only have two players who don't play in the Malaysia Super League. Why are we playing players who don't have chemistry? Who don't know how to play with each other? So much that you don't know it, like you don't know it, like it's like, you know, the back three, like get players who can play with each other and Wilkin and, and Kutiaba have pro proven it at club level. Um, and also, you know, these players, they get too tired easily, they, they tire out, like it's just like, how, how are you supposed to survive? In a, you playing three matches minimum. You might even get further. Well, you might not now after being shut on four 0 I, I doubt you can go any further than that. Right, let's get play, get into the player ratings. Um, uh, right here we go. Um, goalkeeper Shihan Azmi, I'd give a five. He did make a few saves. Um, ultimately, still conceded four goals. Matthew Davis, three. Um, the uncles five and a half. I think he he was quite well, quite organized. Uh, won a few tackles. Um, in and that in and about. Uh, it's not very organized. The uh, Robin on four point five. Abit Fajil four. Junior Elstel four point five. Oh, by the way, six is the average ten in the match. Uh, Stuart Wilkin, I gave a seven. Uh, Darren Lock, you know the graveyard shit, three point five. Uh, Rommel Morales. By the way, Morales, right? Morales. Why are we play? Why are we? Why are we putting Morales straight into the squad? Has he improved? Shown you that much in training? He's, has he shown you that much in training that he should, you know, justify his first cap? Because I can't remember him playing on such a big occasion. Has he justified that much to you? Because Kim Pangon, only you can answer that question. Because, in my opinion, he was in the graveyard shift. And he should be, you know, try and track back, help out, see what can happen. Um, Paolo, so I get a 6. Akia Rashid, 5.5. 5.5 for Sumarai and uh, Charuta, I gave a 5. Lah. Okay. Um, but hopefully we can go to uh, Bahrain, try and get a few points well let, let's try and get the win it's compulsory i think that we need to win this match if not then we'll be in big 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 big, big trouble but let me know your comments in the description below subscribe to uh top 
uh, talk bola, let, uh, let's talk bola or talking bola with Darren Chan. Subscribe to all about Darren. Subscribe to both of them. Uh, watch along with your talking bola. Okay, so if you enjoyed it, please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.